Hello, men. People have been asking me, please, shut the fuck up about Miss Marta. And then I would uh, proceed to try and explain to them how triangulation works. And it wouldn't work. My explanation, not the triangulation. So I decided to do a video on it, which no one will probably watch. Uh, on how this triangulation works. I'm going to do this as spoiler-free as possible. We are right now standing outside the shack in which the first map is introduced. So we're going to go inside there. First, we're going to try uh, to bring up the map with M. Some of you might have this problem. We get a tutorial. See, it's empty. Uh, this happens because you have uh, you have no idea where you are, so you can't triangulate. You see these when you mouse over them, these landmarks, the huts, the little stone heads. They are uh, they are unknown. Should put this away. And we find this map. And have a look at it. You can probably hear the cat in the background. I apologize for that. I think it's shit. And uh, it shows us we are at uh, Outpost Drake, the third uh, house there, I believe. And it says the statue there. It's there. This gives us, uh, gives us some of the map revealed. Like that. Whenever you're inside uh, where you have uh, charted the map, you will uh, you'll be uh, shown as this compass facing a certain direction. The yellow is our facing, and uh, all these white bits are landmarks or camps, or both. They are both, which means we can triangulate. But to triangulate, we need to find a position that's not yet been mapped on the map, and we need to place our own fat ass there. Uh, for this video, I think I'll go over here. So I'll follow. I'll follow the uh, the path. I try not to kill myself. There we go. Triangulation only works on known landmarks, and in, in at various points in the map, uh, in <coughs> in the game, you will get maps like the one we just found that will show you the immediate area around you. But those are a bit rare, so you can't count on them. So, the thing you need to do, really, is plan. Plan and be careful. So right now, we are... Bringing out the map. You see the, the little, uh... What's it called? Uh, compass type thing? Not the actual compass, but it has disappeared. The one that showed where we were before. But, since we know these landmarks, we know the head up there, we know the house. Bring up the map. We click the head. This draws a line from the, the head to to the direction we are. We're standing here probably somewhere. Just outside the... Uh, just too cl close enough to the border for the compass to disappear. And then we're gonna click this one down here. Which is here. And it's gonna triangulate. And it's gonna be only reveal the immediate area around us. How triangulation works is you look at landmarks you know where they are on the map and then as you figure out by drawing these lines lines of sight where you are standing and then you can draw in the map around where you're standing the guy goes does this automatically but what we need to do to make this work is we need to stand near other landmarks so they get uh, revealed inside this uh, the circle thing which is ca which can be quite tricky in uh, Miss Marta because navigating the terrain is not easy. You see that guy out there? That uh, head. That's the clock. We don't have him as a landmark. I'm fairly certain. Ugh. Uh, my mouse sensitivity is through the roof. But he would be good because he's he's fairly in the open right now, and uh, we could map a lot of coastline if we knew him. So to get to get that, um, that landmark, you'll have to make it out there, but the guy you play is very weak in the beginning of the game, and his swimming, running, and general navigation of the terrain leaves a lot to be desired, so if I went out there, I would possibly drown. It's very likely. Let's go see. Yeah, we have that as well. We have this because it's on the map we found. It's not uh, because we tried it. I'm gonna try and find a house somewhere that we can actually, or a landmark of any sort, we can actually triangulate. Let's see. That guy.
guy. We don't have that guy. I'm going to try and make my way up there. Since we have this house and the statue, which we should be able to see from the hill where that guy is standing, we should be able to find him and triangulate him. And he's good. I guess we can do that one up there instead. Yes, we already have that. Oh, we don't. Okay, we can do that. It seems easier. Uh, the ones at the top of hills are good because they're usually visible from a lot of places and the guy you place not very good at hills not in the beginning anyway he has a he has a hidden stamina bar and as you can see here for example there's the path here and having played Skyrim and other open world games you might just want to go up this hill which he can't just do if he's tired for example you've been running I do now a little bit without sliding down the fucking hill. There we go. And do it again. He might not have the energy. Do what he did just then. We can try this. Since we've been running a little bit. He eventually gets... I'm gonna go at an angle. He eventually gets tired and starts being unable to climb. But oh shit. <laughs> this is kind of like real life if you're a spastic. Uh, If you run too fast down hills, you won't be able to stop, so you keep having to stop him. And now I hurt myself falling down. So you have to be very, very careful. He's also very, very bad at swimming. I have mentioned this. So you should not you should not try to swim at all in the beginning of the game. There's some stuff you need before doing that, either drugs or well permanent drugs. I'm not gonna spoil too much. We're making our way up the hill. Running around recklessly is generally a bad idea. If I fell on the other side of this hill, I might not be able to get back up again. Let's see if we have this house here. We do not! That's good. Uh, you might have noticed him rolling when he went down the hill. That's when he rolls, he, <coughs> he has a chance to drop whatever's in his hand when he rolls, which means it will go down the hill and usually fly off and if you're being chased or... No, no, no. If you're being chased or something similar or just reckless, you might drop a very important plant into water and he can't follow that. Okay, so we don't have this camp. We don't know where this is. But we know where that house is. So we click that. And we know where that head is. So we click that. And now it shows us we are here. And it draws the map. As you might have seen, this gives us three other landmarks that are nearby. Now we can use these to triangulate. So I could go over here and probably look at those two and reveal this bit of the map. You have to be very, very meticulous with this. And plan ahead. Because if you end up in here and you won't be able to see any of these, you will be off the map. And that can be quite scary and devastating considering the health of the guy. Also something a lot of people wonder in this game. Yes, there's a knife here. Yes, you can pick it up. No, you can't do anything with it. You can throw it. And you can throw it at the creature. And it might stop it very briefly, but it's not really going to do anything. There's achievements for throwing fruit at them. You don't eat in this game. You just, uh, you just need to drink. Water. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope uh, I made myself understandable and uh, you have a better idea of triangulation. When I first finished this game I made my way into the forest and started exploring immediately and I very very quickly got lost. You sort of get to know the island later but it it is very big and a lot of the places look kind of similar. So you get lost very easily and since walking and generally navigating the terrain can be quite deadly to this guy uh, it's not recommended to do that. But yeah, that's it. And now I'll die from fever.